psilocybin, which is the psychoactive compound found in so-called magic mushrooms, hasn't just been shown to reduce depression and anxiety in clinical studies, but in this research paper, it actually extended the lifespan of aged mice, which means that psychedelics may not only help us to heal psychologically speaking, but they could also change how we age. In this video, we're going to unpack what these researchers from Baylor and Emory University discovered, why this study matters for longevity, and what it could mean for humans in the future. I'm Dr. Tracy Kim Townsend. I'm a licensed medical doctor and psilocybin facilitator, and I teach about the healing potential of psychedelics. Let's start with the cells. Researchers used human fibroblasts. They're used in aging research because they grow and divide in a predictable way until they eventually stop in a process called senescence. Senescence is basically cellular retirement and is considered to be the precursor state to aging and decline. The cell is alive, but it's no longer growing and dividing anymore. Researchers grew fibroblasts in two sets of petri dishes. To the second set of fibroblasts, they added psilocin, which is the active metabolite of psilocybin once it's ingested and it enters the bloodstream. And what did they find? Well, the cells that were treated with psilocin kept dividing for longer. They tested two different doses. At a standard dose, the cells lived for almost 30% longer before hitting senescence. And at a higher dose, they lived 57% longer. It's important to note that at no time did any of the cells demonstrate uncontrolled cell growth. So in other words, none of the cells became cancerous. The cells still reached senescence eventually. They just took longer to get there. They also looked at markers of aging inside the cells. Psilocin reduced oxidative stress, which is the buildup of damaging molecules called free radicals. It also preserved telomere length, which are the caps on the ends of our chromosome that get progressively shorter every time our cells divide. Longer telomeres are one of the clearest markers of improved cellular aging. And psilocybin boosted levels of SIRT1, which is a protein linked to longevity, metabolism, and stress resistance. So all in all, psilocin-treated cells demonstrated more resilience, more stability in their DNA, and delayed signs of aging. So that's at the cellular level. But cells in a dish aren't the same as a whole organism. So the research team also asked, what happens if we give psilocybin to live animals that are already aging? They selected 19-month-old mice, roughly equivalent to 60 to 65-year-old humans, and the mice got psilocybin once a month for 10 months. Then they compared them to a control group of mice that didn't get psilocybin. The results were striking. By the end of the study, when only 50% of the control mice were still alive, 80% of the mice in the psilocybin group were still alive. That's a significant increase in survival. And even though this wasn't measured with strict numbers, the psilocybin-treated mice also looked healthier. Their fur had more growth, less whitening, and they had a generally more youthful appearance. Now, to make this more concrete, what would this look like if we tried to translate it across species into a human protocol? The dosing was designed to match a large psychedelic dose, which has already been tested in human trials at around 25 milligrams of psilocybin, which is equivalent to roughly about 4 to 5 grams of whole dried mushrooms. And at 19 months old, one month in the lifespans of these mice is roughly equivalent to one to two years in a human lifetime. So in humans, this protocol would look something like a single macrodose session of 4 to 5 grams of whole dried mushrooms or 25 milligrams of psilocybin analyte about every one to two years. So here we have two lines of evidence. In cells, psilocin delayed aging, preserved telomeres, and boosted protective proteins. And in whole animals, psilocybin improved survival and outward signs of vitality. And if you're a biohacker or longevity enthusiast watching this, this is where it gets exciting. At Meadow, my practice, we are helping high-performing adults explore the cutting edge of psilocybin therapy in a safe, legal, and physician-led setting. If you're curious about how psilocybin might fit into your own health and longevity goals, you can head to our website and schedule a free consultation. The link is in the description. Now, does this mean that psilocybin is an anti-aging pill for humans? Of course not. But here's why this study is interesting. We already know that depression, anxiety, and chronic states of stress accelerate aging. These conditions shorten telomeres and push cells into senescence faster. And psilocybin has been shown in multiple clinical trials to reduce these conditions with long-lasting benefits. 
If it also directly preserves telomeres and slows cellular aging, then we're looking at a medicine that could not just transform mental health, but the biology of aging itself. There are still so many more open questions, such as what's the right dose and frequency for humans? And would starting psilocybin earlier in life have an even greater impact? Or could these benefits come with any kind of trade-offs we should be aware of? These are questions that only long-term human research can answer. If you enjoyed this video, please do like, subscribe, and share. It helps our channel to grow. And follow me for more down-to-earth education about psychedelics and psilocybin specifically.